But Nico disobeyed his father, and he did name the pig, named the little pig Mauna Kea. He brought her food and water and visited with her every day. The pig always greeted him with happy grunts and rubbed up against him. Months passed as Nico took care of Mauna Kea and brought her treats of avocado and macadamia nuts and mangoes. His friends would stop by to visit the pig too. She was growing so fast. Nico loved that pig. All right, boys, here I go. Was the night before Christmas and all through the house, not the creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in the house. St. Nicholas soon to be there. Children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced to their heads. And Mama in her kitchen and I in my cap had settled our heads. To see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash. Opened the shutters and I threw up the sash. The men in the twinkle and I heard on the roof. The panting and paw on each little hoop. As it drew in my head, it was turning around. Down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook like a bowl full of jelly.